back with another episode of l sampler pod this is your boy jj and javi what's up man we got a lot of things to talk about today we got smackdown reviews and we have a couple of thoughts on what's going on with aew right now because uh that should be seems, interesting <laughs> yeah it seems mass suspect so yeah, yeah man uh what's what's up javi how you doing yeah, doing good, man. Just a, a, it was a day, day off, just chilled with the family for a little bit and got some shit done, and that's it, man. Not much. How about you? I've been on vacation, a staycation, pretty much. So, and then I've been, I've been with the kids most of the time. So, been driving me a little bit insane at times, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it's parenthood, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, that's part of it, I guess. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, anyways, man, moving on to uh, SmackDown reaction review. Let's start off with uh, Corbin versus Ricochet first match. Yeah, that think? was kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to watch it, but they uh, Ricochet actually got the win, which I was shocked in an opening match. It was pretty good. Uh, it seemed like Ricochet was in the back burner for the longest time. Like I didn't, yeah. I hadn't seen him for since he lost the IC title. He completely disappeared off the damn map, and uh, and he came back and he beat Corbin, which, granted, he's not that big of a name, but he's still somebody. And it was yeah. an actual, it was a good match uh, in the end of the day, which, you know, coming from Corbin, I can't stand him. <laughs> I, I give him a lot of credit there, too. I mean, Ricochet puts up good matches, especially with all his flippity, flippity flop shit that he does, you know what I mean? So, like... It's, it's fun to watch, uh, especially on his Prince Puma days back in uh, the Underground. That, Bro, that was, was the best. A long that was the time best ago. version of yeah, Ricochet. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You didn't know because he, he ain't talk. He had a mask. So, yeah, you didn't know that it was him. Yeah, and that's when but, he's uh, at his best when he doesn't talk. <laughs> so. True, man. He's cringy on the mic. But, yeah, yeah man. Uh, it seems like they're going to keep going with Corbin and Pat McAfee, maybe. Story yeah, because so. uh, during the whole time, it kind of seems like a little bit of back and forth from far away, you know what I mean, between both of them. So, I mean, yeah. I would like to see Pat McAfee back in the ring again. So, why not? Yeah, he's super special... entertaining, bro. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, man, the coffee I'm drinking. <laughs> yes, 10 o'clock, and I'm drinking coffee. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then uh, the next, the, the next uh, section. Uh, and they had there like I think like three uh, three different times that uh, the Usos and Zayn had interactions. That was gold because you had yeah, a little bro. story within a story within a story. Because yeah. he had Zayn trying to get in, trying to get to talk to the tribal chief, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you know. Uh, uh, we'll call you." Then it goes again. Hey, you gonna call me? Oh, oh man, oh, we don't know, man. Hey, we'll, we'll call you. And then in the end, they're like, "Yeah, you're not gonna see him. You got to pull your own damn weight." And it's like, whoa. Then it got serious all of a sudden, so uh, so that was actually really good, really really good. I think Sammy uh, Sammy adds a, a an element of comedy that they don't have in the in the bloodline because everything with them is always so serious. So, Bro, look at Jay. He, he was like just mean mugging him the whole time, just facing back <laughs> bro, and forth. I love Jay, I'm like yo, Jay. Bro, I love chill. Jay, bro. Chill, man. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll talk about that later because uh, yeah, because it's funny towards the end too, bro. Like whenever he's just up there, but yeah, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. It's definitely nice that they are doing like a story within the story with him. Sami Zayn find found some to be some way somehow part of a storyline. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm kind of interested to see like. We talked about it uh, earlier in the week. Like, who knows? May, what if he causes? Roman Reigns, one of the titles or something like that. Could I don't be. know, just like some BS happens or whatever. So, and then who knows? Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns feuding. I don't know. You know, you know what I think could happen. <laughs> don't kill me for this. What if Sami Zayn wins the twenty four seven title, <laughs> and then they're like, "Hey, I have a title. You can so... join the bloodline. We drift yeah. gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that even the funny. shitty titles." We got everything. No facts. We got everything. All the gold. That would, that would be mm-hmm. hilarious, actually. Yeah. And he could pull it off, too. He would be the only yeah, 24-7 yeah. champion that's actually credible. And you're like, you know what? That's cool. Yeah. He can make something yeah, out of yeah. it. Yep. 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 Yeah. The only thing yeah. is, like, that that shit only flies in Raw. Monday Night Raw. That's, that's fine, man. Um, 
I don't know if I don't know if that's they're gonna continue that or what, but don't make it work. I don't know. I hope Triple H just be be like, hey, yeah. So this twenty four seven title, uh, this shit gotta go. I'm tired of seeing Dana Brooke. I'm tired of seeing our truth. Yo, you're forty five. Whatever the whole, whatever your age is, bro, you gotta go, man. Stop. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, um, that's it, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next match, which is kind of pointless, but um, Nakamura versus uh, what's his name? Kaiser. 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 Yeah, the the little Kaiser. guy with uh with Walter. Uh, yeah, it seems like they're just trying to they're just trying to push uh, the Walter thing, uh, go against Nakamura, and um, I guess it's just that they're just trying to make him into a strong heel. Um, My biggest thing is like it kind of seems like they're kind of like maybe pushing it towards singles, like. Like Walter is by himself or whatever, yep. and then they split that group of, I mean, that duo of uh, Kaiser and and Walter slash Gunther. So, yeah, it is. I mean, it would be interesting because you know Walter can't speak English that very well, so I don't no. know about his promos. He would probably be like a silent killer type thing or something like that. So. Yeah, he just looks so old timey, man. He looks like he came out straight out of the thirties. He's <laughs> just this big dude with a block block head. And, I don't know. Uh, he Yo, he looks mean. He looks straight out of he World can, War II. He can wrestle, man. Those chops, oh. bro. The one match whenever he lost against, uh, whenever he finally lost the title, I can't remember who he lost to, bro. But that match was crazy, man. Them them dudes hit each other hard, bro. Yeah, like you could just hear the chops, you could hear the punches, the kicks. Like, yo, whenever Walter actually got choked out, bro, this man literally put him in a headlock, like deep in, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it, I was like, no wonder, like, he tapped out on like three seconds because, like, he locked it in, pushed him back, and everything. Like, it, I was like, whoa. Holy yeah, shit. <laughs> it, it it looked real. It's as real as you're gonna get in a wrestling match. There was no bullshit yeah, in the yeah. match. It was yeah. just hard hitting. So anybody that says like, "Oh yeah, it's fake," try that. Watch try that, that match, bro. Yeah, watch that match. It's gonna change. Yeah, your it's mind. gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh, like, uh, no, one thing is, I would never like to see Walter against Daniel Bryan. Can you uh, imagine Bryan's chest after fighting Walter? Bro, he'd die. He would be looking like Cody Rhodes, <laughs> bro. That last time he went to that, uh, what's his face? Um, what's the other guy? That, uh, Roderick, uh, Roderick Strong, in that um, the biggest Royal Rumble or whatever it is. Like, bro, uh, Daniel Bryan's chest looked like ground beef. Like it just looked terrible. And that's that guy. Can you imagine Walter? That's probably like a good seventy-five pounds uh, heavier. And a he good got them, three or four inches got, taller, bro. He got more than meaty that, paws. Got them meaty <laughs> paws, bro. <laughs> he smacks this. Yo, he he will be like if he hits uh, Daniel Bryan with a chop. It will be like, have you seen that video? Whenever the dude they're randomly fighting, and he just goes head like in, inside the. I think it was like a diner or something like that, and he just chops him right across the chest, bro. The dude passes out. The other dude that got hit, he literally passes out. He just flops it. Like, yo, he let him, <laughs> He hit him with the uh, Ric Flair. Woo! Bah! Yeah. <laughs> yo. No. Yeah, but that that would just that would just be crazy, man. He'll de- he'll be out for like a like a year after that match. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely, man. Uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, you got to tell me a little bit more about this because, like, I I skipped this to be a hundred percent honest yeah. with you because. Um, the hype for Liv Morgan to be the champion died, has died it very died. quickly. Uh, she kind of reminds me. Her title run right now reminds me of um, Nikki S A A S H A S H A S H. Yeah, Nikki Ash. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of her title run that it was like all gimmicky, pretty much. I don't think it's like, as bad, but it's 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 getting there real fast. I mean, bro, her first title defense, like, she taps out, but then gets the dub because they didn't see that part. So, it's like, why? Like, are you turning her heel? I don't know. So, why she, the why, she get, why she get booed? Tell me. Because, like, I, I don't know. No, they were saying you tapped out. 
Oh, That's basically yeah. it. They were, they were oh, screaming, you tapped baby. out. And she's a so baby she's a baby, baby face. Bro. He was trying to cut a baby face promo. And then everybody's like, you tapped out. You tapped out. And they just start booming the hell out of her. Damn. So that looks bad, bro. That looks real bad. Because then what are you going to do? You can't turn her heel. Because then what are you going to do? Make Ronda a face? Or what the fuck no, are you going to do? She's a heel already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you turn her heel to turn her back into a face. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to do that. You know what I mean? So, uh Mm-mm. I don't know. They definitely need somebody to get called up for that. I don't think we're going to talk about that next. Uh, wait. Yeah. In the next, in the next topic, but I don't think the winner should be, I don't see her as a contender either. So, yeah. Mm-mm. No, not at all. Not yeah, at all. Not. Moving on to the gauntlet match. Cause that's, that's the next topic. Like whoever wins pretty much challenge gets a, a title shot uh, with Liv Morgan. So, who it was? Who who started it? It was um, what's her face? Um, uh, I remember her, mom? Daria Baronado. What's her name? Uh, who the one that was the that's her real name? I forgot her name. Uh, Shayna the Bates one that was the general manager for SmackDown. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, the MMA fighter, whatever. Yeah, but, yeah, I forgot her name. Yeah, and then uh, she fought. I think it was, uh, I don't know if it was Natty Rodriguez. or, huh? No, okay. Raquel Rodriguez was later on. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was later. Was like, uh, yeah, everything. It was, was a bunch of randos was... that didn't matter. I know I know. Shotzi was there. <laughs> uh, uh, Stifler's mom was there for a bit. Uh, everybody could just, you know, it was one of those classic uh Classic uh, gauntlet matches. The only one that actually looked good out of the whole out of the whole group was uh, was Raquel because she actually eliminated like three people, and I mean, that was not, it. She's not bad in the ring. Like she yeah, but the smiling shit has to go. Yeah, the whole smiling thing has. She to needs go. to be. She needs to be a heel. She'd like, be a badass heel, I think. She was in NXT. Whenever she first started, she was like a. She started as a bodyguard. She was a Kai, right? Yeah. yeah. And then she ended up going into just being a heel. And uh, for some reason, they said, you know what? We're going to make you a baby face. <laughs> Change your name. <laughs> and then she's yeah. like, me, Rasa. And then just smiles all the time, bro. Like, yeah. Bro. Then she gets her ass. Edge, she's still smiling. You hit my son. You hit my familia. See, that, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's her next promo. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I, I had a feeling you had that saved somewhere, bro. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I had to. I had Yo. to. That's gold, man. Yo, that is. I'm not gonna hold you. That is. He did he did yeah. great on that. I, I thought it yeah. I thought it was Ray Mysterio without a mask for a second, bro. Like I I No for real. <laughs> like he did the tone of voice and everything. It was yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was perfect. But uh, but yeah, but but with Raquel, that's the thing. They they have to do something with her. She has to turn heel. The whole uh, white meat baby face thing doesn't work for her. I mean, gotta do she's, something. She's one of Triple H's peoples, so we'll see, man. Well, but he's yeah. gonna do what's best for her, anyways. I think. In the yeah, long run, yeah, definitely. Regardless. Definitely. Yeah. What if she joins uh, uh Bailey and uh, Dakota over there? She needs to join the bloodline. That'd be interesting. But she can't. I don't you already know. spoke about it last time. <laughs> it would be cool if she actually joined that that stable with uh, Bailey and the other two Johns. Yeah, she'll be the muscle. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's perfect, and she doesn't even have to talk because we know we have Bailey there. Fox and Dakota can he, she can actually cut a promo. Yeah, but we know the uh, other ones can't. So. Eo Sky is like yeah. what? What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna get Google Translate real quick. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> we're gonna get canceled, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, man, they probably say the same thing about me sometimes, bro. So, like, but uh, anyways, man, Sorry. Viking Raiders <laughs> tag match. I don't Nobody care. Cares. Let's skip this. Uh, who Nobody won? cares. No, they, it was a uh, no contest. Kofi came in and hit Ibar with the damn candlestick, and then bro, he had a why? match. Why is the new day a thing still? I don't know. Two of the three are injured, so <laughs> they should just to... let them let it be, let it die. This, this, yeah, this, this gotta go, bro. And I they may still... end up in AEW soon, but 
Bro, I still remember when the Usos came at Biggie whenever Wale was there and they were cutting the promos on each other. Xavier and then, Woods. And then Bro. Uh, Big, he, he whenever he came at Big E and then he said, Don't be uh don't be R rated like your boy like Woods. Xavier Woods. Like Xavier Woods. Like, Bro. That was a burn, bro. That was that was great. It. The crowd went wild, bro. That's bro, how even you know. that's how you know the Usos are first ballot Hall of Famers, bro. But even Woods, he was like, "All right, cool, you, you got me, you yeah, got me." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what are you gonna say about that? <laughs> and you can't say anything. Bro. No, you got nothing after that. Like your whole squad has nothing to say after that. <laughs> Just throw hands at that point and then yeah. take the L. Yeah. So yeah, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, so one of the highlights from the new days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but but like I said, no, nobody cares about that. I, I, it seems like they're trying to make the Viking Raiders into these big heels, but at this point, I think they're they're done. They're heels. Holy shit! I yeah, they're heels. That. They're heels. After they were doing this stupid shit like a few months ago, playing basketball with the. With the street profits and with ninjas and did you ever see that? No, they're fighting ninjas. You didn't miss anything. It. I skipped Good thing. it. It was probably part of Raw, so that's why I skipped it. <laughs> yeah, Raw was when <laughs> Raw used to be unwatchable. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, like I, I can't get over the, the part on their um on their entrance whenever it just starts like raid, raid. Right, no, that's no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, man, but it's not their fault though. That was Vince, bro. Through, I have through. a feeling. I have a feeling that these guys are legitimately. Uh, what? What? <laughs> what, <laughs> what? Damn! What's the word? Like cavemen or something? That nah, they're legit Renaissance fair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's their weekend job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, they, they they literally live like Vikings. Hey, afterwards. do we do we have any shows this weekend? No. <laughs> hey, we have a Ren Fest in Utah today, so we're gonna make it real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they probably get more screen on time doing the Renaissance Fair than uh. <laughs> oh, the they'll movie. probably sign more autographs too. Like they'd be the guys. Like if you go to to um uh, whenever they have the access, they'll be the guys that anybody could just show up and just you know get, a, get an autograph. <laughs> Like right up, you don't have to make any line or anything. They're like, please, will somebody? Uh... But we're giving out autographs. Somebody want autograph? No, would you like my autograph? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like that guy that comes up to you at Sam's Club trying to sell you a phone. Nah, yeah, bro, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyways, moving on to the most special thing about the night: uh, Roman Reigns promo. With the Usos, Jay, Jay was intense, always there. Jimmy yes. is just more like a hype man, ch- chilling hype man type thing. Jay is just always tense, bro. He's always like ready to like pull out the blicky at some point, bro. Like that's all I yeah. that's all I can I can picture sometimes. But then, um, but if you told me he um, killed someone, it wouldn't shock me. <laughs> for real yeah. jay on the other hand i'd be like uh, um jimmy on the other hand jimmy. i'd be like nah hell no no he got drunk but, <laughs> <laughs> but um um the whole roman reigns promo about brock listening it was it was nice man saying that he hated him but then that he actually respected him so that's yeah. uh i like to see that you know what i mean because like in brock brock has like in real life has uh respect for roman reigns yeah, I mean, if not, like, he wouldn't do business matches, with him like that. Yeah, how many matches that they had, and you know, you know what I mean. How many ass whoopings has Roman Reigns gotten from those matches? Oh so, yeah, they've been through a lot. And actually, yeah, even like yeah. we said in the last episode, even though we've seen him fight so many times, it almost seems like you know if they fight again, I wouldn't really be that opposed to it. So uh, maybe not right now, but maybe like a year from now, I'd be cool with that. Like, I would I'd be like all right. to see it in uh, Hell in a Cell. Hmm. No, I don't want to have this. The Usos can't be in there. <laughs> Come on, bro. They'll f- find some way somehow to get inside. Come on. Right. Paul Heyman does like Kane with the like, I know, right? with his hand he through climbed, the, through the ring. You, he just see, comes you out see him ring. climbing. You see him climbing up. <laughs> then Paul oxygen, Heyman gets oxygen. thrown like uh, Mick Foley. 
He gets thrown like Mick Foley did uh, <laughs> by the Undertaker. No, bro. No. He'll legit die. <laughs> <laughs> he will die. Uh, uh, <laughs> then um, during the Roman Reigns promo, as soon as he was about to uh, say some other stuff, man, Drew McIntyre comes out and then he calls him the tribal queef. That was lame. That was so bad. <laughs> That's one of those things that I could I could just imagine Roman must have been like what? You know, that's I, sell out full of that's almost like that. Tash, son. That's almost like that. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> Yo, I legitimately just said, "What the fuck is this? This is TV fourteen. Why is he calling him a queef? I mean, why is he saying the word queef?" Like <laughs> you don't say I'm, that, <laughs> bro. I literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this video and then I'm gonna beep that word because, like, bro, why, why, why did he say it? <laughs> like, it just sounds dumb. Yeah, this is why I'm saying Drew McIntyre is not ready to carry the company. No, he'll never be. We're, we're coming up with these promos, bro. Come on, man. Come on, mm-hmm. come on. No man, that that was just so bad. I can imagine Triple H in the back is probably. We didn't tell him to say that. Like, what the fuck, man? I can just imagine, man. Uh, I was like, I this is know. the best thing that you came up with. This yeah. is literally the best thing that you came up with. All right, Paul. I need you to write a promo for this guy every please, day, please. From now on, please. You're gonna go let's, down let's... to NXT. You're gonna train with uh, with Shawn Michaels <laughs> promo school every day. Uh, for the next month and then we'll talk you know you're you're off that card of the castle he may be he may be relevant in nxt legit he was great in nxt i know i'm saying like he was real good Mm, now he's too big already like to send him where he is right now just just kick him out if that's the case but you kind of need him right now i mean i will be okay with that but that's just you kind of need him right now because you barely have any baby faces as it is yeah, that's true. And then randomly, how while Drew McIntyre is uh, cutting his promo, and then the whole bloodline is just sitting there like, "What? What? What is this man talking about?" <laughs> like, <laughs> legitimate, <laughs> legitimately, just like standing there, just looking at him. And then out of nowhere, uh, smoke comes out, music drops. The whole crowd is just quiet as hell because they don't know who the hell is coming out. <laughs> and then, and then Karrion Cross just started. And he came out and, and they still didn't know who, who it was. <laughs> Karrion Cross comes out and starts beating up on uh, Drew McIntyre. And then the whole bloodline, including Roman Reigns, is just looking at him like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> He's the queef. <laughs> <laughs> like I legit, yeah, like like yo, Jay Uso, Jay Uso is just literally just still with the whole like tense. Jimmy and Roman are just like, do you know who the hell this guy is? Like, who who did Triple H hire? Who the hell is this guy? He has hair. Wait, hold up. Looks like Brian Erlacher when he put hair on when he had that the, the hair implants. <laughs> oh my! God. It just looks so weird, bro. He looks like a dad now. It's like. And look, let me tell you, bro, because, like, I don't want to take, take up too much time with this. Yeah. But to all the people that keep hyping up Karrion Cross like he is God on Earth, you guys sound like Chicago Bulls fans uh, hyping up Patrick Williams. So y'all need to cut it out. On point. Cut it out. Because, like, this guy is not that good. He was not that good in NXT. He literally was good because of his entrance and his wife. That was it. He couldn't cut a promo. He couldn't wrestle for anything. He literally got carried in every single match. Why why are you hyping this man up? The last time that we saw him, he was wearing latex and a mask. (laughs) He was looking like a dominatrix out here. Pause. Yeah. Like, bro, no. What what are y'all doing? Like, literally, I could I could make Roman Reigns promo for the next time that he sees him. And legitimately, like, all you got to say, all the Roman Reigns has got to say is, who the hell are you? Just like The Rock would do. Bro. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. <laughs> <What's> your name <laughs> is. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, literally, he could he could pull the same page out of the Rock's uh, book, bro, and just pull it up on him. Because everybody, the cr- bro, the crowd <laughs> would just go crazy because of Roman Reigns promo, and then Karrion Cross would get instant buried again, <laughs> like Adam Cole did to him in NXT. Yeah, that's it. You can't recover from that. You're done. Nah, bro. Like you're like, done. Y'all need, y'all need to cut it out. Like y'all hyping this man up to way too much, bro. And he's a, and he's all right. Like he's not he's not bad. He's not terrible in the ring. But the, the, honestly, the he's look, mid. Like he's a mid guy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's gonna be a great mid Carter. That's yeah. It. He's gonna be like your Baron US Corbin's title? of the world. Your yeah, True McIntyre. IC, you know? IC yeah. title. That's, exactly. That's it, bro. He, I see not, you. He's not gonna carry. Yeah, he's not dethroning Roman Reigns. So don't get your hopes up because. Like if you're telling yourself that he's gonna be able to dethrone him, you de- dethrone him, you're just lying to yourself. So, Bro, I'd rather have Champa beat him than uh than Cross. Champa will even be though a Ciampa's, great. Even champion. though Champa's tiny, but he's a legit guy. Correct. Champa can cut a promo and he can wrestle. <sighs> if he can, it, can he wrestle, man? This guy's amazing. Fox. He's great. He's great. And he can do everything. He can do the indie shit. He can do the WWE style, NXT yep. style, whatever it is. He makes it work. So, yeah, he's mm-hmm. good. He is great. So, and, uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, to finish that whole segment up, is Roman Reigns is just looking. The whole bloodline is just looking at what the hell is going on. Not even worried about Drew McIntyre that just got his ass whooped. Not, not even worried about the hourglass. Nothing. I think they were just like, looking at Scarlet real quick. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I would have been. More so, than likely. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I know, I, so, I know Jay was. Oh, I mean. <laughs> exactly. Let me have, like Jay real quick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, uh, what would you rate the show? Yeah, uh, I mean. A. Honestly, uh, I, I will say for the first time in a long time, I'd say that I enjoyed Raw more than I did SmackDown. Uh, but I do feel that there's kind of a, a, but it does feel like a better show. Like this is as good as SmackDown was under Vince, at least in the last few years. But Raw was just so much better than, I mean, t- to me, it was the biggest. Now, as Raw was so good, now SmackDown, you kind of expect it to be good. So that's what I think. Yeah. It's more of the newness is almost wearing off to a certain extent. It's like it bothers me because a lot of fans they want Roman Reigns to be there full time or whatever, but you're literally having him there part time. And then on top of that, you have him get freaking interrupted every single time that he's cutting a promo, yeah. which is which is very annoying, especially on the viewers part. You know what I mean? So we we tune in to watch the bloodline like let's be real, like everybody that tunes into SmackDown, they're wa- they want to watch the bloodline. Bro, they, they save the watch. WWE. They that's did. why, and, and that's why, to a certain extent, it, it and it, and it almost moves into the next topic. We're gonna talk a little bit about AEW, a couple of things, because that's one of the reasons I started watching AEW. Because I was like, hey, all right, cool. Uh, they have some of the guys I like that used to be in WWE. Then you have a few guys that are that are pretty good that I know from other promotions. Cool, but then now it's almost like. You really almost don't care about them anymore. True. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like I, I told you from the very beginning, as soon as AEW was getting getting started, I told you that it was gonna get washed real quick. And it only took a year and a half for them to for for it to happen. You know three I mean? years. Like, yeah. They've already been three around three years, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like but, it's like once they started peaking, like it only lasted a small amount of time, you know what I mean? Like, if yeah, but pull, why? If, if if WWE pulls the same shit the AEW is pulling, like for example, the, but better the, the the biggest thing that everybody's talking about with AEW is that John Moxley fight, the match that he had with some random. Yeah, I had no idea who the fuck that guy was. <laughs> I'd never <laughs> heard of him did. ever. No, and I and I watched some indie wrestling and even Japan and all that stuff. I was like, who? That even Miro sure. was like, what the fuck? Who the hell? Which is I don't guy? blame him. I don't blame who? him either. Yeah, bro. Like, and on top of that, he's gonna make John Moxley bleed. Yeah, well, but he's always bleeding. He's like the new Ric Flair. 
But you just look at him, he's bleeding. It's still still annoying, like, though. You shouldn't have a a rando, a random, like, pretty much just make you bleed. Especially somebody that you nobody knows their name. They're not going to be the next John Cena. Because whenever John Cena came out, they were like, who the hell is this guy? But they're not going to be the next John Cena. Like, nobody. Like, this dude is But there was a better. plan behind it. This guy is just some rando from, uh, I think it's CZW. That thing where they do, like, uh, death matches and shit, which... I don't like like that's not my cup of tea. I I really don't like that. And it's not real wrestling. But, you know, uh, that's a whole nother story. But it's like, do you really it's like right now, do you think that guy would have a chance to go against Roman Reigns right now? No, you're as a company, you're, you're putting your champion against this random dude and he makes your champion bleed. How credible is he? On a eliminator. uh, What was it? What did they call it? Eliminator match, right? Some bullshit. I don't even know what it was. That's some bullshit. Like, and that's and that's my biggest problem with it. Yeah, fine. Uh, you know, AW wants to be different. They they want to give different people uh, pushes and everything. But Chances. some dude off the street, bro. Like, and that's why. Like, for example, that's why MJF, which I hope WWE scoops him up. Uh, if um, that's why he's probably pissed off, because he's like, we're here, and they just start bringing all these people off the street. Why don't they give me a shot? I should have that title. Give me the mic. Give me the title. Let's go. And, and I'll carry the damn company. No, he's great. And he's going to end up in, in WWE. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I, Triple H better pull the trigger. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they're getting all this money from, but still. What? AEW? No, WWE. Oh. They, they cut a bunch of people just to make. Um, yeah, but they're making record profits, bro. Like, they've been making record profits the last, like, two or three years. You know why? Once they started signing those big TV deals. No, no, no. That was no, crazy. No. Do you know why? Let's be real. It's not the TV deals. The head of the table in the bloodline is who put, puts. <laughs> I said puts. 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 <laughs> right, queef. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> Asses on seats, dog. Yeah, that's no, nah, that's true. No, but because but, that is because of them. No, but it's like a, it's the same thing I told you earlier. They, it was it's true. They saved WWE, and and right now, honestly, I think right now WWE feels like right when in the in the Attitude Era, when the tide was starting to turn, it hadn't turned yet, but it was starting to turn. That you're like, hmm, wait, something's going on here. So now people are because. To be honest with you, I was a big WCW fan, but I wasn't a WCW fan because of Ric Flair, because of uh, fucking Arn Anderson. I was a fan of Hulk Hogan. I was a fan of Kevin Nash, of Scott Hall, all the WWE guys. So I was a WWE guy through and through. It was just that they happened to be in another company. And then when WWE started getting hot again, I was like, you know what? I'm out. Deuces. Yeah. And that's the same thing that's happening right now. Because I was watching, and I told you, I was watching w- uh, AEW almost religiously to the last few weeks, and I was like, What's going well, you on? Wanna, you want to make no sense. That trash. Hey, sometimes it's worth it to. It, it, it was, no, it but, just, but the thing is, but it was, it was better than raw. But it was better than raw. Bro, anything is better than raw. I could literally exactly. let my child play with two freaking fake wrestlers. What the fuck are they called? The, two the, figures? The, the action figures. Action figures. Action figures. Bro, it will be. He will probably put up a better match than anybody in, in than, than raw. Well, that's true. So, yeah, man. And I guarantee you, but, you can cut a better promo than, than Drew, but that's cool. But uh, <laughs> He's only two years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine Drew looking, and all of a sudden he's like... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. That, that was Drew just looking. He's like, oh, shit, what did I do? But, <laughs> I don't know if that means something worse over there, uh, Scotland, the tri- but... The tribal queef. Bro, could you imagine if you're trying if somebody's going up to you, you're like, you know what? You're a fucking queef. You're gonna be like, what? What the fuck? Like, uh, I'm not even gonna start waste laughing my time on you. I'm just walking away. <laughs> like, exactly. Literally, exactly. Literally. <laughs> yo, before uh, before we cut it off, um, one thing that we didn't that we didn't talk about. Um, do you think going back to WWE, right? Do you think it's too late for some of these guys like uh, Baszler that won the uh, the gauntlet match to yeah. challenge Liv? Um, 
which once again is going to be a match that nobody's going to care too much about. Um, do you think it's too late for Ricochet or Cross? Like, who do you think it's too late for? No, I think it, to me, as sad as it is, I think it's too late for Ricochet to be a guy, uh, which is because of all three, by far, he's the most talented one. But yes. I think he's he's been around way too long. Unless he comes back as a Prince Puma or something, that's the only way, you know, you can raise yeah, master. Because you can't even bring him as a heel because he can't cut a promo. No. And, if, and part of being a heel, like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to know how to cut a promo or a mm-hmm. decent promo at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shayna Baszler, she's always been – I've never liked her just – Personally, the MMA background going into wrestling, like that whole character, to me, it only works with Brock Lesnar. That's about it. Um, so it kind of bothers me, but I mean, it's whatever. But it's another person that is like, okay, so you're gonna put, you're gonna give the title to her. I'm really hoping that she's not gonna talk, right? So yeah, probably and not. Then, and then Karrion Cross, do I really have to say anything else about him? Mm. Like I, I, I don't think I have to. Well, he's he's you know you know the and you know the 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 problem going going back to Baszler real quick. The only chance she has is because if Ronda is quote unquote suspended, and she doesn't want to work because because it, it just looks like Ronda doesn't even want to be there. Like you like you looked at her match and it was like I don't get the fuck out of here. Like she just want to go. She just want to go home. I'm so uh, hmm? she's fight. She was fighting Liv Morgan like bro. Yeah, she didn't I care. Said, yeah, I, I, I said it from the beginning. Like yo, she's overhyped. Like yeah, well, but the thing is, then you can have somebody like Baszler kind of come in and be the quote unquote Brock Lesnar type of figure, which is indestructible, even though it's already too late for her too. Yeah. So I don't know. And then Cross, his promos are not bad; they're just not credible. Like he's one of these guys that's screaming at you. He's pissed off, but you can't believe him. You're like, <laughs> fuck, bro, like what the fuck you what talking, are you talking about? about? What are you like, mad about? What are you exactly. mad about? Even Drew seems like when when Drew's in his zone, he's way more credible than Cross. Cross just seems like he's lost out there. Like he's like, I'm gonna kill you, promo. and you're like, Dude, come on, now. Like, who talks like that? Like, what are you doing? Like, I, I can probably cut a better promo than Cross. No, with without question, without question. And, yo, whoever wants the promo challenge, what's up? I want you to cut a promo. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna do the challenge right now. Promo challenge. Cut a promo. Cut a promo on us, cause we want the smoke. Or <laughs> I want the smoke. Javi's just gonna be there watching. So, Damn, yeah, I'm just man. gonna be your Paul Hammond, bro. Yeah, there you go. I'll be the high manager. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> All right, man. That is it for today. That is it for today. Yeah, I think um, it was. It was very interesting, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No, it was good. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see what happens this week uh, with. Uh, with raw tomorrow so um i hope they keep it going so yes yeah yeah definitely i think it's gonna be i mean it can only go up like you know what i mean i don't think it's i don't think it cannot get worse especially yeah. now that you have somebody else yeah right? at least it seems like everything's making sense even if we don't agree with it at least it makes sense it's not some random shit happening so yeah correct correct so yeah all right have take it away man all right, so uh, remember to like, subscribe, share. And for El Sampler, that was JJ. This is Javi. We're the ones, the only ones. <laughs>